welcome to the third episode of the Make Thrift Try Challenge. So to the uninitiated, the Make Thrift Try Challenge is every month or so, they don't exactly happen strictly once a month, but every period of time, I upload a couple of options of items that can be DIY'd. Then you, the audience, vote on them. Last month's themes were one, embroidery slash applique, and two, weird and wonderful bags. And then you, the audience, have a month or so to create something that fits the theme. So I am just overwhelmed by all of the amazing entries that we've had this month. We've had some incredible embroidery and some mind-blowingly cool, weird, wonderful novelty bags. Because there's been so many entries, I can't include them all in this one video, but I do encourage you to go and check out the Make Thrift Try tag if you have the time. So I'm gonna limit myself to 10. First, I'm going to go through 10 of my favorite embroideries from the month and then 10 of my favorite weird and wonderful bags. I got my phone here, I'm on Instagram, let's get started. First up, this one by The Real Art Bay gets just an A plus for effort. This embroidered cap must have taken so long to make. Look at all of the beautiful flowers. Ah, I love it so much. They said they decided to try out any style of embroidery that they could find on the internet. And that it took them all summer. Yeah, I bet it did. This is so intense. Oh my gosh. You're amazing. I love it. Oh, good work. This person embroidered a whale. I think it's onto a jean jacket or is it onto a pair of jeans? Oh, uh, jacket. <laughs> So they actually embroidered it on top of a painting of a whale that they already had. There's the painting. And this is the whole process. I love process photos. So they had this painting of a whale on a jean jacket and then doop de doop here's them embroidering it. How cute is that? That looks amazing. And the stitch detail is incredible. I love how you've blended the colors and the different blues. This looks great. You should be really proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. Now this one is fantastic because of its creativity. This person embroidered on top of some um, white, I guess like tennis style shoes that they never wear anymore. Um, with these gorgeous teal and blue colors in different little patches around the shoes with a satin stitch and they look amazing. I wonder, was the uh, canvas of the shoe hard to stick your needle through? I could imagine that could get a little bit like tough on your embroidering hands. <laughs> Embroidering hands like this special hands you put onto embroider. You know what I mean? It would be hard on like your wrist joints and stuff. I'm obsessed with this person's jacket Did you use sparkly thread or is it just a sparkly filter? Is there such a thing as sparkly thread because bleh, Fred? <laughs> is there such a thing as sparkly thread because if so, why have I been embroidering with plain thread all my life? Like, what? Oh my gosh. <gasps> There's more photos of it. Oh my gosh, no! It's not, it's beaded. I don't know if this counts as embroidery anymore if it's beaded. We didn't say beaded, we said uh, embroidery. I don't know, does beading count? It's still amazing though. I still want to showcase this because look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I want this jacket. Here is another amazing embroidered jacket by So Fee. <laughs> so dot Fee. They have put so much work into this amazing jacket with flowers all over it. There's some crochet going on there. Applique on. There's embroidery. There's more embroidery. There's more embroidery. Oh wow, is that some beading? At the back, those flowers, what, what are they? Oh, what? And there's some like, some eyelets were put in and some lacing up. There's some lace on the bottom. This upcycle is incredible. Is that a punch needle patch? Oh my gosh, <laughs> punch needle. Dude, this is awesome. I love it. Okay, I particularly love this one because they embroidered uh, the face of their own dog. They embroidered this cute little pooch onto a t-shirt. Oh, how sweet is that? You could just carry your pooch, what's its name? Pavo, you can carry Pavo with you whenever you just need some extra courage. You know he's just, he? Yes. You know he'll just be sitting there 
over your heart. I love dogs. Oh, <laughs> this is so pure and nice. Some more incredible embroidery art by Laura.Keat. They are taking on an Australiana theme with some gum trees and a cute little kookaburra sitting in the gum tree. And apparently, wow, it took 20 to 25 hours to complete. This is absolutely gorgeous. You should be so proud of yourself. I particularly love the stitching on the leaves and on the tree bark. It really gives you a sense of the tree and the different shapes and colors of a gum tree. It's beautiful. Also, I just really like this upcycle from Macy Long. They embroidered two sunflowers onto a plain black bodysuit and it really just makes it into a more interesting piece. And I also really appreciate the dedication of going and posing with some sunflowers while wearing this. This is amazing. So bonus points for that. Not that we're, not that we're calculating points here or anything, but you get bonus points anyway. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to choose 10 of my favorite. You are all making it so difficult. Okay, I definitely have to give a shout out to this moth embroidery. I have been wanting to embroider onto a sheer fabric. I think, is this tulle? It doesn't say. Um, but I have been intimidated because I think it looks a little bit tricky. Like, how do you hide all the mess on the back of the work? Anyway, I just love the brilliant colors and the outlines in this. It just really stands out. This is some amazing embroidery hoop art. And I love this upcycling of a plain tote bag. This is such a good way to personalize just a plain tote bag. Plus, it's a pun. Irresistible. Also, freaking cute bunny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And your uh, lettering, by the way, is so neat that I just thought that was machine stitched at first. That's amazing. Okay, part two. Now we are going to look at some weird and wonderful bags. And oh my gosh, you really all need to go and look at um, the make through try tag on Instagram because there are so many cool bags that people have made. I don't know how I'm gonna choose 10, but wish me luck, let's go. Paint My Stars has made this incredible squid bag out of an old merchandise bag that they never used. They say it's going to hold their knitting supplies, so they're gonna call him Knit Squid. I love the big eye, I love the zipper. I think it would have been hard to do all of the little tentacles, so good on you for that. They said that maybe they'll even sell this pattern in the comments. I hope that you do because this is hella cute. Make Me Cookies 90 has made a pizza bag. Look at this, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. So it looks like the pizza is hand painted. They have used some Amazon boxes, nice upcycling, some fabric and a little bit of paint. I love this. And thank you very much for the picture of your dog at the end. I appreciate it as always. But this is such a cool idea and I love that it totally goes with your outfit as well. It really goes with your suede pinafore. This is a really cool, weird and wonderful bag. Oh my gosh. Okay. This person here <laughs> has made a real life mimic box with like real life sharp teeth. What? Oh, and they said that they put a dog in it, which is actually a cute little rat. <laughs> so cute. I totally didn't just look this up right now, but mimic box is a, uh, a creature I am reading. Definitely not reading this from the screen that's up in front of me is a creature, a fictional monster from Dungeons and Dragons. It is portrayed as being able to change its shape to disguise its body as an inanimate object, such as a chest. And as a weird and wonderful bag, this is fantastic. There's a strap there to make it into a bag. I love this. Is it functional? Is it easy to open with the teeth on it? Even if it isn't, who cares? It's too cool. <laughs> Okay, I absolutely adore both this flamingo bag. Oh my god, it's so cute. But also the outfit that you're wearing to go with it is just perfect as well. It was made out of some fabric that um, their friend had given them that was accidentally dyed the wrong shade of pink. And it looks like they also used maybe like filling or stuffing to make it into a plushy shape as well. Unless you've just got a lot of stuff inside the bag. I can't get over your outfit. Your skirt is so cute. Oh my gosh. I just love this. This is incredible in every way. It's got a hot pink strap and a hot pink wing. 
and it's so cute and it's got a button for an eye. This is magical and wonderful and just everything that I want in a bag and an outfit. I love this. You win. You win. You win the competition. There's no competition. You don't win anything, but I love it. <laughs> You're really talented. <gasps> okay, this person has made a star backpack out of shiny shimmery material um, with, with sparkly straps as the backpack. This is so cool. They made it totally from scratch and without a pattern. They said it was probably not a great idea. I, yeah, I agree with you when I make stuff from scratch with no pattern, but you got there in the end and it looks amazing. I want this, this is so cool. I reckon you should develop a pattern for this and sell it because I am sure there'd be people who would want to make this. I am in love with this AstroTurf bag. I love AstroTurf. I have had many an argument with uh, my partner, Luciano, about how I want to put AstroTurf down on the floor and on the walls of the home that we eventually buy. He does not agree. I think it's a great idea. And I love how they've taken pictures of it on some grass. The inside of the bag is green. There's some flowers on the front of it. I was really hoping to see like a botanical themed outfit in here as well. It would look so great with a floral ensemble. I have seen on the internet these um, bags that are watering cans. If you and your friend dressed up, one with a watering can, one with this bag, that would be the coolest twinning outfit of all time. <laughs> this person here has upcycled i think they've upcycled yes they've upcycled a backpack with eyeballs in time for halloween and it looks like they have um cut in through the leather and then kind of poked the eyeballs behind it so that the leather pleather whatever the bag is made out of the eyes are kind of just leaking out from the bag in the creepiest way <laughs> They said as well that they were going to add a creepy mouth, um, like in the example that I posted. Um, they were actually making polymer teeth and then the oven was way too hot and they almost burned down their house. Disclaimer, I am not responsible if you burn down your house making make thrift try challenges. Okay, so this person here has made a shark backpack because apparently they have far too many plush sharks. Don't know how you end up with far too many plush sharks. How many is too many? But I love that you turned one of the excess plush sharks that you have into a backpack. It's a really... <laughs> I love that it's just sitting on your back there, just chilling. And it looks like the zip is on the underside of the bag. So all your things will get stored in the shark's belly. I love it. This is really, really cute. I love it. Plus because you left a lot of the stuffing in and it's still pretty much a plush. When you get tired, if you're out and about, you can use it as a pillow and just lay down wherever you are. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Cthulhu dice bag. <laughs> Need I say more? Yes, I do because the head can be removed to reveal a drawstring opening leading to a lovely handful of dice for D&D or Call of Cthulhu. This is so clever. This is so clever. Did you make this from scratch or did you disassemble a plushie? Either way, thumbs up for this. And I am in love with Carolyn Deeg's hidden sushi handbag. Here is the normal handbag. Then you open up the flap and there's a bunch of sushi underneath. I love that you looked at a plain black bag and you were like, Oh god, I need to add some sushi underneath there. This is incredible! Oh my gosh, that definitely fits like perfectly into the theme of weird and wonderful bags. Like, I would not in a million years have thought to do that myself, but now that I've seen it, I'm like, I need one. I want to make one. Thank you so much to everyone who gave the challenges from last month a go. I hope you all had fun. I had so much fun going through the tag several times this month and seeing what everyone had made, interacting with people, seeing all of the lovely supportive comments you're leaving for each other. It was so good to see. And I'm so excited for Make Thrift Try challenge number three. But first we need to vote for a new theme. So the potential themes for the next Make Thrift Try are number one, upcycling some old jeans. So there has been this thing in fashion lately where everyone and every fashion designer has decided that they're gonna obliterate jeans and all of you think it's really funny to continuously send those to me. But what I would like to see is some cool upcycles of old pairs, worn out pairs of jeans. I think they can be upcycled into things that are more useful. Number two is ruffles. Ruffles seem to be really popular on clothes at the moment so I wanted to add that as a potential theme. 
Number three is scallops. Just because I like scallops on things, I think they're cute. Maybe you will too. Who knows? We'll see if it wins. Number four is mesh. This one came very close to uh, winning the poll last time, so I thought I'd throw it in again, just in case. And number five, upcycled footwear. This could be shoes or socks or anything you wear on your feet. <laughs> So cast your vote now with the poll at the corner of the screen. And after 48 hours, the theme with the most amount of votes will be declared the winner, or there will be two if it's really close again. Now, obviously you can just do this at home and you don't have to share it with social media of any kind. But if you do wanna share what you've made with the world, then you can upload it to Instagram using the hashtag makethrifttry3. I'd love to see both the finished creations and also works in progress. And you also have the chance to be featured on my next challenge video. So it's make thrift try three. Don't forget the three at the end. I've decided I'm gonna make a new hashtag for each month so that all the different challenges don't get all mixed up in the one hashtag and get lost. I can't wait to see what you all choose as the item for the next challenge. So get voting and I'll let you know in two days from now who's won and then get creative. I have just enjoyed this challenge so much and getting to know some of you and getting to see what you're all capable of and the amazing creativity. It's just, I, I love it, it's so good. And I'm really excited for this month's challenge as well. I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you all next time, bye. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon and Coffee for making this video possible. To support these videos so that I can keep on making them, go to co-hofenfi.com forward slash Annika Victoria for a one-off donation, or to support me on a continual basis, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria. Even if you can only give $1 a month, that is extremely helpful to ensure this channel keeps running.